Make sure we press down firmly and you can use either the DIY lamp or the flashy lamp to freeze her in place. Today we're going to be using flashing because they just have it right here. Make sure it's nice and straight. Remove any gel that might have ran. Look at that, you guys. It is snatched so fast and easy. And then I'm going to put a coat of shiny on the inside too. So that will turn anything that is um, pre-etched completely glass-like. It will give the nail that beautiful transparency that we want. So it looks like a glass. See? Oof, I can't, you guys. And let's bake it for one minute inside the Dazzling Darling lamp. So let's take a look at our Rich Girl Charms. I used a whole bunch recently on Denise, so I need to get me another bag. I better order it before it is too late because they are snatched for days. Ooh, should we use this one? What do you guys think? And we're gonna use Squeezy. This is, where's the one I used for my first video? I think it was this one. They're all so dope. This one's pretty too. Oh, it's a little Cupid. That is adorbs. And please don't come for my nails. I know they look a hot mess. Please bear with me as I'm I getting ready to get them fixed eventually when my mom has time. We have just been so busy here at work, you guys. It has been nonstop since enocouture.com blew up even more than we already did. And you guys know that we are working around the clock to get your orders out as quickly as possible and as safely. A lot of people are like, Max, how can you don't hire more people to work? Well, girl, Arizona is a hot spot for COVID right now. So we gotta be extra careful. There's like over two to three thousand two to three thousand cases a day you guys so safety is of course number one top priority for enocouture.com and for those of you that do understand we thank you so so much because that means the world to us especially during these crazy times the last thing we want is for somebody to be sick or asymptomatic here at enocouture.com so we are taking all the necessary necessary precautions to make sure that everybody that works here is super safe because that is the most important thing for everybody so i'm going to put it somewhere over here i think that'll be nice and sexy so let's just really gently snatch up the sides. Make sure it's nice and even. Make sure she's nice and square. A little bit around the cuticle area. I love to use the pink diamond cuticle bit because I just feel like it gives such a beautiful and seamless finish. Like super airbrushed. And it takes away the press on look. Unless you want the nail to look press on then don't blend in the cuticle. But if you want it to look just like a sculpture nail, this step is essential. So go in using the pink diamond cuticle bit. Go around that cuticle. Oh my gosh, Kaja Google in the background. Let me know in the comments below if you know who Kaja Google is. You are, are a real red or die with Kaja Google. And there's some legit UK old school pop that I love. Look at that. Super seamless, you guys. Can you see that? Oh, I can't. Beautiful. And we're going to use our purple buffer or you can use our smoothing. Really gently remove the shine. So we're going to be using a lot of bigger stones today. And for bigger stones, I love using Squeezy, which is Gummy Gel's sister gel. It's a thicker gel that is designed to hold heavier and bigger rhinestones, okay? I want that 90s boxy square shape. Big shout out to Femi. Um, last night, she and I were talking and we were talking about, you know, just, you know, just normal. Spilling the tea. And we were talking about 90 shapes and how like this like super like boxy square like it almost curves in it's so square i was like we need to do something like that look at that super 90s square i love it and of course i'm using xxl coffin but you can use pretty much any shape i want to make sure she's not wonky because you guys know i hate me a wonky nail there, beautiful. 
So now we're going to go in with shiny and coat the entire nail with shiny because we're going to use a squeezy on top and we're also going to use a little bit of gummy with shiny but because all of our gels are made up with the same material they'll actually stick together and you won't have any issues okay. Look at that you guys. Elsa eat your heart out. This nail is like super Disney Frozen princess realness nail. Legit. So beautiful. We're gonna bake this for 30 seconds inside the dazzling darling lamp. Did I mess it up? No. We're gonna get a squeeze, you guys. Squeezy. Death grip on diamonds, especially big charms. We're also going to be using, keeping with the Sailor Moon theme today, our crystals for your nails in flat back. And they have a really pretty, like a watercolor, rose water pink and an opal white and of course it comes with crystal and silver and rose gold like the most popular colors for nails so we're going to be using these today as well too beautiful and we're going to get our bling tool or you can use our pink tweezers too which are also available at you know, couture.com to put on big diamonds and we're going to use some squeezy first and you're going to squeeze from the base down so that way we don't pop it open and squeeze hard you guys because this gel is super thick okay we're going to put the big diamond. Press down firmly. Look at that. Let's use flashing. What did I do with my flashlight? Did I drop it? No. And freeze it in place. Even just like that, it looks really pretty, doesn't it? But this is a max nail, and we need to snatch her up even more. So let's add more diamonds. And more squeezy here so you have a really precise applicator with the tip of the squeezy too and the great thing about squeezy is you don't need any gel on top either it is completely tack free and the great thing about squeezy too is you can Cure it for a little bit longer just to make sure it really cures all the way because you want to make sure that the light penetrates all the way through when you're using this squeezy. Let's go in with some rose water and let's use silver to accentuate our frozen realness now. Frozen meets Sailor Moon meets Ice Princess. She's just all the characters rolled into one. water opal ones too so for those of you that love bigger stones look at that super fast and easy Some more rose water. A little bit more squeaky. You guys can see when you use the bling tool, like literally, you don't have to worry about leaving any kind of marking on the stone. Do another little baby white one. Here, let's do what color should we do? What do you guys think? Let's 
do it a white one and the BB rose opal because it just looks perfect like that okay no more max calm down and now let's cure this for 60 seconds inside the dazzling darling lamp so like I said when you're using squeezy it's better to cure it longer than less so for the video we're only gonna cure it for 60 seconds but on a customer I would cure it for at least two to three minutes to make sure you have the best result possible okay so make sure you cure her all the way you guys that is a secret to perfect gel application for rhinestones for diamonds the longer you cure it the better why because you have that rhinestone right you have that jewel on the nail and that jewel is usually made out of glass or crystal or whatever right or plastic sometimes too so the light cannot penetrate through the rhinestone but it has to penetrate around up and around and side to side so the longer that light hits it you're giving it more time for all that gel to fully harden and solidify so you're gonna have a better result especially with bigger charms too but with squeezy it's incredible because since it is designed for bigger charms and it's white free it's just gonna cut so much time in half as well too and you guys can see like rhinestone movement non-existent pretty much and you guys saw like I packed them on big on this nail like I was like girl I need to bling this one out turn her out so, oh, it's done already too so remember after the hand comes out of the lamp we're gonna wait a few seconds and then we can apply our oil and you can see completely dry a little bit of cuticle oil what do you guys think and of course you can um, glue this down if you don't want her to dangle around but I was like for for the for giggles for the video let's make sure she dangles around so beautiful it's adorbs oh my gosh like if I wore nails like I would want my nails to look like this so check it out right now at enailcouture.com the best nail products in the world and I love you guys so so much and I'll see you in the next video bye guys